This tutorial will walk you through the setup of your Datalink 1200 scanner. Your scanner should have arrived in a box that looks like this. Inside the outer box, you will find a small box that houses various components for the scanner. We recommend that you save all packing materials in case the scanner needs to be shipped at a later date. When you open the materials box, you should find the following items inside. A power supply, two ink cartridges, one scanner kit with a Datalink Connect disk, and a calibration sheet, a USB cable, and a dust cover. Let's see what all of these items look like and how they work together. Open the box and remove the small white box and the ink cartridges. Open the white box, remove the power supply, and plug it into the outlet closest to where you'll be using the scanner. Set the ink cartridges aside until needed. On the other side of the materials box, you will find the scanner dust cover along with the USB cable. The USB cable is needed for linking the scanner to your computer to work with the Datalink Connect software the scanner came with. Lift the tab at the center of the box to locate the answer sheets. There are two different types of answer sheets included. The smaller answer sheets are for creating a teacher key and administering a test to students. The larger sheets are the item analysis sheets. Item analysis information will also be available in reports if using the Datalink Connect software. You can now remove the scanner from the large brown box. Make sure to keep the inside cardboard protectors in case you need to ship the scanner in the future. Remove the clear plastic bag from the scanner and place it back into the box. You will now need to calibrate the scanner using the calibration sheet in the back of the scanner kit. For more information on how to calibrate your scanner, please view the video on scanner calibration. Now you will need to install the ink cartridges and test the print. To install the ink on your scanner, you will need to remove the front ink cover, open the new ink cartridges, and make sure to remove the protective tape that covers the copper-colored plate of each ink cartridge. Insert the new ink cartridge into the scanner with the copper side away from you. You may now replace the ink cover. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to install your ink, view our online tutorial. You will need to run a test sheet through your scanner to ensure it is marking the sheets correctly and does not have any printing problems. The scanner should still be plugged in with Ready showing in the LCD panel. Create a key to run through the scanner to test the printing. It doesn't matter which Datalink answer sheet you use to test the printing as long as you mark it as the key. After you have filled in all of the answers on the front of the answer sheet and marked the key bubble, feed it through your scanner. When the key is run through the scanner, it will print the corresponding letter or number next to each row that has a mark. If everything looks okay with the print, you've successfully inserted the ink and can continue to use your scanner. If you are experiencing printing problems, please view the online tutorial on troubleshooting ink problems. Now that we have installed the ink cartridges and tested the printing, there's only one more feature we need to activate, and that's the Datalink Connect software. Installing the Datalink Connect software to your computer provides you with detailed reporting and data exporting options. Insert the CD into your CD drive and select Install Datalink Connect Software from the options displayed. Also included on the CD are optional installs for the Datalink Scanner USB driver and Datalink Scanner firmware updater. Since the Datalink scanners are sent with the most current firmware available, you will not need to access the firmware updater file. Do not connect your scanner to your computer until you have downloaded the necessary drivers. To start the driver installation, open Datalink Connect. Then select Help, USB Drivers. When you see the following window, click the appropriate button to begin the installation. The Datalink Connect software will close when you begin installing the USB drivers. After installing the drivers, connect your scanner to your computer and restart the Datalink Connect software. Please note that these drivers require administrator's access to complete the installation. A complete document for using the Datalink Connect software is included in the software's electronic help file within the program. New users of Datalink Connect should read the program's electronic help file to gain a full understanding of the application prior to using it. You may also view our extensive list of video tutorials on our website at www.apperson.com. After installation, you can launch the Datalink Connect software by going to Start, Programs, Datalink Connect, and selecting Datalink Connect. Your Datalink 1200 scanner is now set up and ready to use. When your scanner is not in use, you can simply unplug the power and cable connections on the back of the scanner and place the dust cover over the top. For more information on how to use a Datalink Connect software that came with your scanner, view our other online tutorials. 
If you are experiencing any problems, please contact a member of our technical support team at 800-827-9219.